Messages of support are flowing in for AFL star Buddy Franklin this morning. The Sydney Swans have revealed the 28-year-old will not take the field this weekend as he receives treatment for an ongoing mental health condition. Former AFL player Brendan Favola has taken to social media saying, quote, having been through similar experiences, there's a lot of people willing to help, mate. It does not discriminate as far as an 18-year-old kid who comes from interstate um, who's struggling with a lot of different issues or one of the very best players in the game. It doesn't pick or choose. Uh, it's a fact of, of life that a lot of people suffer from it. Joining us now is someone who's had first-hand experience with his own mental health battle, veteran sports broadcaster Glenn Mitchell. Glenn, good morning to you. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure, Tim. Look, this has taken a lot of people by surprise. Um, can you give us some sort of insight into what Buddy might be feeling right now? I know it's impossible to know exactly what's going on in his head, but broadly speaking, uh, this is obviously a very dark time for him. It is, and I'm sure one of the reasons that he has the extra load at the moment is the fact that they're about to play finals. They're in Perth mm. this weekend. He'd be feeling uh, in making this decision that perhaps he's letting down the fans, he's the mm. highest paid player in the competition, but none of that should matter at the moment. His mental health uh, is the most imperative thing and he needs to get out of his mind the fact that, um, that he may be letting some people down. And, and as shocked and surprised as fans are, even some of his best mates have come out and said, I had no idea. Mm. How common is that? Well, I think that's very common. Um, you know, you look at someone like Jeff Gallup, for example. I mean, he shocked everyone when he got up mm. a few years ago and said, um, I've got depression. I can no longer be Premier of the state. Now, his cabinet ministers, even his private staff were unaware. A lot of people are very good uh, at being able to mask it. Mm. But eventually, as is the case with Buddy, obviously, it gets to the point where you can no longer keep it inside. You have to go and seek external help. I think a lot of the fans might be looking at this guy and, as you said, the highest paid player in the league. Uh, he's just got engaged to Jacinta Campbell. Mm -hmm. He's playing finals footy. It, it all looks pretty good from the outside. How, they might be asking the question, how can it be that now, on the eve of finals, he suddenly withdrawn himself, possibly for the entire final series? Well, I think John Longmire just put it perfectly, yeah. that, that it, it doesn't discriminate. Mm. You know, we look at, say, Winston Churchill and Jeff Gallup at one end of the spectrum, there'll be people sleeping on a park bench tonight, mm. you know, that are homeless and unemployed, and there are people in between. It's the same as cancer. I mean, it, we have to remember that mental illness is just that. Mm. It's an illness. Yep. No illnesses in society discriminate. Mm. And it doesn't matter how successful you are, you can be uh, diagnosed with cancer, you can end up being diagnosed with a mental illness. So, so what does Buddy do now? Does he just remove himself from... Uh, the football club, all of those things that might be exerting pressure on him. I think that's what he needs to do. He needs to get away, work with close family and friends and confidants. Uh, he's in a lucky situation. The football club will be able to source for him the best possible treatment. The thing that worries me, though, is that people in the media, and people in particular, the modern form of gossiping, social media, mm. need to just drop that altogether. I mean, Buddy doesn't need things, and already in the last 24 hours there's been uh, people with philosophies yep. as to why he's uh, pulled out and what the mental health condition um, started with. None of that is helpful. Mm. None of that is helpful. Buddy needs to be given space, given respect, and allowed to work on what is obviously a very debilitating illness. Given his profile, though, that's... It's going to be hard, isn't it? He's virtually going to have to quarantine himself almost off the grid. Yeah, and, and that is unfortunate, I think, nowadays. I mean, if you were diagnosed with cancer yeah. and it became public, yeah. uh, he wouldn't need to go underground. Mm. He could go to the local cafe, do yeah. whatever he liked. And that's where I think we, as a society, still need to get that, that message. We need to understand that it's an illness. It's not mm. a sign of weakness. It's mm. not a sign of uh, a lack of character. It is an illness. And he shouldn't hang his head or walk with his head down if he's going to go outside. Yep. People just need to give him space and respect that. Exactly. And at least the, the club making all the right noises at exactly. the moment, saying it is much bigger than football. Of course, we would love to see him playing in the finals at some point, but some things are more important. Glenn, thank you very much for your insights this morning. Appreciate Pleasure. Thanks, Tim. And if you or anyone that you know needs help, you can always contact Lifeline, the number on your screen there, 13 11 14, or jump onto that website, lifeline.org.au.